Hey everyone, I'm going to make a pretty rough video of how to update the firmware on your vector. Um, I'm just holding the iPhone in my hand because this is a little bit of a tricky one to do. So to start with, I'm using a PC and I'm going to plug this cable into my PC and the vector. Okay, so USB on my PC into USB on my vector. Okay, then I hit shift and encoder nine to reboot and I hold that. It goes blank and goes to USB disk mode. Now on my PC, you can see that that's appeared on my screen. Now what I've, you know, I'm in the habit of doing because I do a lot of firmware testing is I will always take the firmware that I'm happy with and I will remove it and put it in an old folder. Now, most of you aren't gonna wanna do that, but I do because I do this a lot. So now there's no vector.bin file in the root directory of the SD card when I've mounted the vector as a basically a, a, a USB storage to my PC. So now I'm over at the forum, I'm downloading the bin file. It's downloaded can't be downloaded securely, keep, there you go, uh, show in folder, okay, you can see I've got a lot of them, so what I do there is extract all, extract, vector bin dot eight is now there, I've got the vector dot bin file, I copy it, and I simply paste it, into the vector sequencer as a USB storage device straight onto the SD card. It's important that you do delete the old vector file and you don't just overwrite it with the new one. Okay, so now I've got my shiny new 1.9.32 bin file copied to the SD card on my vector. Now I go over to the vector. Well, actually you can, out, you can unmount the USB drive. Eject vector sequencer. There you go. Okay, so now I'm back over at the vector and I'm going to hit record and hold it and hold F uh, encoder 9 down again. And I hold it and I hold it and I hold it. And press next to load firmware or press run to exit. So I'm in the bootloader mode and it's going to go look for the vector.bin file and it's going to update my firmware. So I'm hitting next. Loading firmware. It's erasing the old firmware. Writing. And there you go. So now if I go to global, you can see that I'm on 1.9.32. It's as easy as that. Okay. Good luck with it, guys.